I cannot explain how myself I feel. And it has been a long fucking time, you guys. I tried salmon, I had eight ounces of salmon, and I woke up the next morning with zero congestion and zero brain fog, zero migraine, zero lack of clarity. I felt the best that I had in <laughs> probably like three years. And guys, my sex drive is unreal. Do we have any gentlemen, or ladies for that matter, willing to help this lovely young lady out with her newly found issue? You know, I wonder if sexual activity has anything to do with length of time people are able to adhere to a vegan diet. I would assume if someone is consuming seminal or menstrual fluids that they are getting a deceitful amount of animal nutrition in comparison to a strict vegan diet. And we know how dirty those New York City vegan girls are. But boys and girls, I will try to get some of those ladies in future videos for my respectful audience. But you know, most of them are camera shy. And don't don't worry guys, I'm working on it. I'll, but let me digress. Here we have another ex-vegan story. But yeah, essentially I was experiencing symptoms that were a result of my external environment, uh, which had toxic mold in it. And some of the symptoms that I was experiencing, as I said, progressively getting worse over the past couple of years were migraine headaches, chronic sinus congestion, essentially I like could not breathe out of my nose at all, brain fog, memory loss, uh, appetite loss, extreme appetite loss, inability to articulate myself and communicate properly. Um, those were like the bulk of my symptoms and they were really impacting my daily life significantly. So most of these things, as I said, were related to my external environment. But what I realized as time went on, as I was trying to figure out like what the fuck is wrong with me, I started to realize that my internal environment, the, the food that I consumed could kind of turn on or turn off the intensity of these symptoms. So I found that really interesting and basically just went down the rabbit hole of like, how the heck do I heal myself? How do I get rid of these symptoms? So she wants to blame the environment instead of her diet. This is partially correct because her environment can determine her diet. If she's in Hawaii with a bunch of vegans and she's vegan, technically speaking, it could be the moldy vegans in her environment, but yeah, that's not what she means here. It's interesting how the vegan diet is never the issue. Initially, it always has to be some outside factor. And I got so, so interested, I still am, in the concept of changing my external environment and my internal environment in order to enhance my health. And that concept, that kind of like, uh, process is something called biohacking that I've just been like so passionate about and it's literally changed my life. Miss, it's called health. It's not called biohacking. Interesting way to sound smart when you overlooked a basic human requirement for vitamins contained in animal foods. So I moved from Hawaii to Colorado, which is where I am now. And within a couple of days, my sinuses and my like head pressure and face pressure and congestion was less intense. Basically right after that, I dove into a vegan mold diet and supplement protocol. Eight months into this protocol, I felt way, way, way better, but I still felt like my brain was just like off. Like it wasn't, the best way I can de describe it is that I felt like I had brain damage. Like my brain just was not working. I just like became fascinated with all of this and determined to, figure out how I could get my brain working again. And some of the common things that kept coming up in my research was salmon and grass-fed beef. I just like kept seeing this come up again, but I kept writing it off. And so to consider eating something that wasn't vegan, to me wasn't even an option. And I think that this is a common theme in the vegan community is that a lot of us have gone vegan coming from a really shit diet. And so cutting a lot of crap out and replacing it with plant food allowed for so many benefits to take place and to like allow for a lot of symptoms to release and go away. 
this is what I preach. A standard American diet is almost always worse than a vegan diet, so people feel better initially, especially off of the sugar high. But then they develop nutritional deficiencies from lack of vitamins and plant foods and gut issues, either from the high anti-nutrient content of these plant-based foods or the high sugar intake. But I was kind of like writing off the possibility of salmon and grass-fed beef and other things being able to enhance my health because to me, I had this association, which I think is a natural association with, with vegans, is um, that like those things are unhealthy because of the way that we used to eat them and used to consume them, consume them, perhaps like factory farming or fast food or like paired with whatever processed bread or, or whatever. There is certainly an issue with factory farmed meat, but no logical thinking person is going to try to argue that eating grass fed beef and wild salmon were bad for you or the reason they didn't feel good on a standard American diet. If they were on a standard American diet and consuming grass-fed meat and wild-caught salmon, they would have likely felt worse when they went vegan. Right after I left Hawaii, I got all of my blood work done and I was just not in a good place. Like, obviously I was feeling like shit, so it only made sense that the blood work reflected that. But I was essentially low and deficient in almost everything. My hormones were out of balance, like way out of balance. And I had a high candida infection, like stupid high levels. And so I got retested about eight-ish months later, right before I returned to Hawaii, and everything was better. Um, my hormones were looking better, candida infection gone, all of the nutrients brought up almost to a normal or exceeded level. Every single vegan, same thing. Nutritional deficiencies, horrible blood work, gut dysbiosis, SIBO, candida overgrowth. If there are any guaranteed anecdotes on this planet, it's what happens to you when you follow a vegan diet. Like everything was looking better. So I was like, I'm, I'm good to go. Like I'm going back to Hawaii. I didn't even think that getting re-triggered was a possibility. But within 15 to 20 minutes of walking into my friend's house on the rainy side of the island where mold has been present like vis visibly, um, I was out. Like all of my symptoms came back full force. And so during the same visit, a lot of my friends from Hawaii were sharing with me that they had recently changed their diet. And within a few days or a couple of weeks max, they were experiencing insane positive transformation with all sorts of different health struggles like digestive stuff, brain stuff, uh, memory, um, like physical rashes, like all sorts of things that they had been kind of dealing with underlying for the past couple of years or past couple of months. The cognitive dissonance is unreal in vegans. It's a testament to how far beliefs and emotions drive people. Literally have to kill themselves for years before waking up. I was just so excited to get back to Colorado because I was like, I'm going to get out of this environment, back to Colorado, and all will be well because it's so dry here, whatever. And I got back here and all of my symptoms were still here, like just as strong as they were in Hawaii. And I was kind of like, fuck, I totally forgot that the original time I left Hawaii, like it took days and weeks to really clear everything out and start to feel a little bit better. And so I was like back for three-ish days or something, just like suffering so bad. I couldn't breathe through my nose. My head pressure and congestion was insane. These symptoms she was suffering from could actually be a mycotic infection related to Candida albicans. One speculation is that when she went back to Hawaii, her fruit consumption increased, feeding the candida, making it worse. Then if she goes back to Colorado, granted she doesn't have access to much fruit, it would get better. And I took a look at her Instagram. It appears that she went to Hawaii towards the end of the year in the winter when she would have possibly been consuming less fruit. So she goes to Hawaii. She starts eating a lot more high sugar tropical fruits. Her candida gets worse. Incredibly likely. Frankie boy is on it. I used to do jumping jacks and push-ups to like get my heart rate up to clear out my congestion before filming videos for like a long time. Oh, what a surprise. More vegans in poor health deceiving people. I just kind of said, you know what? I will give it one week. I will try anything 
for one week even if it's hard even if it is something that doesn't fully align with my morals i will try anything right now because i'm suffering and i think that i've heard a couple of people in the past i don't know six months or so say that they would never ever ever go back even if they were struggling with health um and i honestly feel it's quite naive to share that uh, I can understand how one would think that if you so deeply believe in the vegan lifestyle, but until you are in a place of deep suffering, uh, physically or mentally or emotionally, um, it's really hard to say that you would never do something unless you are at that point. This is an excellent point. I really admire this girl in comparison to all of the other vegans, especially in the context of these no longer vegan videos. She recognizes her mistakes and owns up to them. If every vegan behaved like this, then nutrition would move in a positive direction as a whole, aka less vegans and more omnivores aware of their food choices. Um, that's what it felt like for me, at least. Um... I had strong faith that I could get everything that I needed on a plant-based vegan diet. Exactly. Strong faith, not facts. Because veganism is a belief and not a diet and should not be treated as such. I tried salmon. I had eight ounces of salmon and I woke up the next morning with zero congestion and zero brain fog, zero migraine zero lack of clarity i felt the best that i had in <laughs> probably like three years um and i was kind of like what the fuck like how i like didn't have strong faith in this i was just like trying something kind of like a last resort type of thing and i literally woke up feeling fucking incredible last resort Eating the nutrients your diet was clearly deficient in is the last resort. And you might be confused, like, okay, you ate salmon and then all of your problems went away? Like, excuse me, how? <laughs> no, sweetie. Both omega-3s and B12 are likely nutrients you were incredibly deficient in. It makes perfect sense. Resolution of psychiatric symptoms occurred following vitamin B12 replacement therapy. And if we look at studies of fish consumption, people with a higher intake of fish had a 20% decreased risk of dementia of Alzheimer. These high omega-6 plant-based diets can also impair DHA absorption. Either way, we need high quality animal foods present in our diet to have proper cognitive function. Salmon is extremely high in omega-3s, but more specifically EPA and DHA. And these are essential for brain functioning and for yeah, everything brain related and there are sources of omega-3 obviously on a plant-based diet but the difference is is that they are ALA they're made up of ALA which can be converted to EPA and DHA but only a very very small percentage is actually converted so it's not very efficient it's something like one or two or three percent can be converted to epa and dha which are what power your brain so she is right to some degree conversion rates of ala to epa are very low four percent at best however there has never been a study that has demonstrated plant-based ala can convert into dha the brain needs a certain amount of DHA and arachidonic acid to function every day. Neither of these are found in plant foods. And so it makes sense looking back now that potentially I was extremely deficient in these, even though I was eating a high fat vegan diet for literally a year before I shifted to going back to eating meat and animal products. I just, I wasn't getting that conversion that I needed to in order to power my brain and to heal my brain. I also want to note that I'm not supporting factory farming. Everything that I have been consuming is grass fed, wild caught, pasture raised, organic, and locally sourced when possible. So for anyone 
who kind of immediately thinks of factory farming and all of the terror and fucked up shit that happens in that realm, in that process. Uh, so for anyone who immediately thinks of all of that when they hear meat and fish and eggs, it's not the same thing. Uh, there are very different ways to raise animals and to consume animals. So I just want to share that. I feel like I'm living in an alternate dimension. One thing to be aware of in regards to pasture raised and organic is it's not necessarily an indicator of food quality. Pasture raised does not mean grass finished, especially with eggs. Eggs are usually fed a very high grain and soy feed even if they are pasture raised. Organic is just a certification. So guys, local is the most important thing. If it comes from a supermarket, you can do better. Um, and I want to share the main benefits that I have experienced. So it's been around two and a half, almost three months now that I have been not vegan anymore, <laughs> that I've been consuming meat and fish and eggs and intermittent fasting as well. Uh, some of the benefits that I have experienced, the number one, as I've shared so many times, is the brain. Like, I cannot explain how myself I feel. And it has been a long fucking time, you guys. Um, I feel clear, mentally clear. I can focus, like, I feel connected. I can articulate myself. I can communicate without stumbling and feeling lost and zombie-like and like I'm living in this fog. Um, that was the main one for me is like gaining myself back, gaining my like coherency. Is that a word? Um, another massive change, a massive benefit for me has been that I have a sex drive now. I literally have never had a sex drive in my life. And guys, my sex drive is unreal. And to me, that is an indicator that my hormones are not all over the place. And what other benefits? Um, muscle gain and fat loss has been like unreal. My body changed like so quickly and so rapidly and I was working out less consistent and less hard. So that was interesting. Everything is a testament to how important animal foods are in the diet. She has a sex drive, she looks better, feels better, became more attractive. This is something we see in every single person that goes from vegan to eating meat again. Drastic overall improvement in body composition with little effort required. I also feel like my skin has been more hydrated and more like tight feeling. I kind of felt like it was starting to like wrinkle and not look so hot. Um, but it just feels more hydrated and more like elastic. That's fantastic. Maybe you'll be as pretty as Frankie the face if you keep eating those animal foods. Please listen to yourself. Do your own research. Follow and pursue things that align with your values and stay true to yourself. To anyone who feels hurt emotionally, hearing that I'm no longer vegan because perhaps I inspired you to go vegan. I want you to know that I believe I found veganism and you found veganism at the time that we did in our lives for a reason. Maybe it was to enhance our health. Maybe it was to open our eyes to the impact that we have on the animals and our environment and our world and others. And maybe it was to teach us a different lesson. And there may be some of us who carry out this vegan lifestyle, this plant-based lifestyle rather, for our entire lives. And there may be some of us who choose to take a different direction in life and a different path. I truly believe that without our health, we have nothing. Without sharing our truth and living in our truth, we have nothing. Those are like, <laughs> those are the things that really matter in life. And Here's to setting ourselves free, free from labels, free from needing the approval of others, free from worrying what others think about us, free from our self-judgment, free from the harsh things we tell ourselves and tell others. Here's to setting ourselves free from all of that and pursuing the path that leads to our best selves, our healthiest selves, our highest selves in whatever way that comes to be. Thank you so much for watching this video.
I know that it might not be super easy to hear for some of you. I know that for others, you are probably stoked that I'm feeling better back to myself, back to my ability to communicate and think clearly. Um, I'm sending love to all of you. And just remember that we are more than the food that we eat. Let that sink in. Hey, 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 young lady, you cannot steal my horse clicks. Although I am switching to the smile to be a little bit more professional, today I am wearing a tank top, so I can do as many horse clicks as I want. Of course, we can't have a no longer vegan video without a little bullshit justification that a plant-based diet serves some sort of magical, mystical purpose. I do commend this young lady for not promoting a vegan diet anymore. I am pleasantly surprised. Raw Alignment has set an example and a precedent for the rest of the vegan community. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and share the video if you enjoyed it. If you guys would like to support me, I do have a Patreon down below. That is a great way to get personalized question support. I also have an Amazon shop where I have various products I use in my day-to-day -day life, guys. <laughs> I spent way too much money on Amazon. Uh, I'm on Instagram, guys. I'm on Twitter posting some cute selfies every day on Instagram. On Twitter, guys, I post some really funny pictures and cartoons. So definitely check out my Twitter. If you guys do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations in regards to becoming a Greek statue, you can send me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com, or reach out to me through the contact form on my website below, frank-tufano.com. You guys enjoy the rest of your week.